Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Hump day! It's time for another Adam and Carrie Funko Pop Mystery Box Duel. Stay tuned! Hey guys, welcome back! It's Wednesday! Hump day, and we are halfway through the week. Woohoo! Almost Friday, guys. So how is everybody doing today? Welcome back. How's your week going, Adam? It's going good so far. <laughs> Been a positive one. Got some vacation time coming up finally in August. So that'll we got be it fun. scheduled. Yes, it is. Yes. So guys, I'm Adam. This is Carrie. I'm the Beard of Pop, Miss Beard of Pop. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you coming to spend a little time with us. And if you guys are new here, we sure hope we can earn your subscription by the end of this video. Don't you think? Why not? With our goofiness, I hope so. It's free. Yeah, it is free. I like things that are free. <laughs> so as you know, guys, please make sure you're subscribed. Please make sure to click the bell and turn all post notifications on so you're alerted of our next video or my next video, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. There you go, guys. <laughs> we have got a good one for you today, guys. We've got... A hundred dollar mystery box from uh, Martin Pops. Yes. Always got fire in there. Super excited about battling these. We got a box A and a box B. And we have some news about our great live tonight right here on Beer to Pop. 8 p.m. Eastern. There you go, guys. Link is down below and I'll link it up here. Yep. It's already posted. Go over. Hashtag early squad. Say hi. Become a channel member or a patron to enter some of the giveaways tonight. And come hang out. And hang out. Yes. We also got right here, sent over from Tokyo Treat, we got a Tokyo Treat plus Funimation box. I'm assuming it's probably treats that are anime themed. I haven't seen it yet, but I figured, you know, you guys like these. Let's mix it up a little bit. We do sodas. We did some Mind's Eye boxes. And now I get to eat stuff. And now we get to eat some stuff, I get to guys. try new stuff. So we'll get the good old trusty knife out. Let's open this guy up. Let's see what we got. Oh, now, guys, I want to remind you. <laughs> now, guys, I wanted to remind you that I still have my Nintendo, my Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway going on until Friday the 16th. This, this Friday. So make sure to go through and like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Leave a comment, say hi. I'm randomly picking two winners. And then we're going to announce another huge giveaway on Friday that you guys are going to blow you guys away. So just make sure to go check that out. And the winners will be announced Friday on my video that goes live at 9 a.m. I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> because I was peeking. We got all sorts of stuff in here. That white drink just does not look good. <laughs> so let's see. The first one we got in here. Now, first, we got to do this for a yes. Tokyo Treat right here. <laughs> awesome. Hashtag not Tokyo me. Treat. I guess you you because you like animation. So we got this first one right here. And I'd rather go into these blind. So we got this one right here. And it's a chip by Frito Lay's. No, we're going into this blind. <laughs> we'll look at it after we eat it. Because there's no way take to one. tell anything other than take it's it. Frito Lay. I'd rather take it. it doesn't smell bad. Mm. Oh, it's definitely potatoy. Dragon potato, tasty chili Not flavor. Not Okay, that's it. Was a chili flavor. I knew it was some kind of like some kind of. Seasoning. So it's a spicy chili and cheese. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Looks pretty good. I'll give it that. I can All right. the chili. We got this one right here. Texas corn is what it says on the back. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and get these gummies open. Alright. Alright, let's try one of these Texas corn. Texas corn. Why are you so goddamn? Forget popcorn. This is your new must-eat snack for your favorite movie. Their sweet and savory sauce is based on one of Japan's favorite party foods, omenaki. Hmm. Okay. We have four different flavors and then a mystery flavor. I'm not sure which one's the mystery flavor. So just grab. All right. We got some green ones. 
Oh, they're strong smelling, but they smell like gummy bears. Like it tastes like when you accidentally spray perfume in your mouth. Or a cola. No, it tastes like you spray perfume on a gummy bear and then ate it. Because not gummy bears don't really have that flavor. They just taste like a gummy bear. All gummy bears taste the same. So that, it's a gummy bear. These are called that perfume. time I got reincarnated by, as a slime. Oh. Kogummy gummies. Mm. So the flavors are soda, blood orange, muscat, and energy drink. I'm not sure what I just ate. All right, we got this. No, we got this little heart cookie right here. Oh, well, I'm opening one and you're opening one, so. Then I'm not sure what this is. Mm. Just tastes like a sugar cookie, but it's not sweet. A okay. butter cookie. Yeah, like a butter cookie, like a cracker. I'm not sure if it tastes like the perfume, too, or if that's just the lingering taste from the last one. All right, oh. so right here, guys. Why? We're going to wash some of this down with this Fanta soda right here. What is it? I'm Ooh, not going to tell you what that, it is. That, like, got it, me. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I already know what it is. Go ahead and take a sip. You already know? I'll drink it anyway. You won't drink it if you know what it is. Go ahead and take a sip. <coughs> so this right here, guys, oh. is called Fanta Yogurt Rush. Oh! oh. This has uh, the Muscat Yogurt Flavored Soda. Ooh. Got some good pro I bought probiotics in it because it actually it made out of yogurt. Oh. Mm. I don't like this at all. Look. It's here. You have one? Open? I'm no, scared I'm on it's green. That's seaweed. It <laughs> seaweed. smelled like seaweed, oh, seaweed as soon as I put it near my Let mouth. Me see that. Did you show them the bag? Yes. Baby cocky mochi oh. seaweed salt flavor. So these are like corn crunchy seaweed salt. Ugh. Right here, we got these little guys that look like tennis balls. But they do, guys, they look like little, they're not. They look oh. like little tennis balls. Ooh. Mm. I don't want to try this. It gets a little sour, but it's not bad. Why does it smell funny? These are called Ace Gum. Maybe Prince of Tennis is more your speed. We've got the gum for you. This Japanese tennis ball shaped gum starts sour, but gradually gets sweeter lemon. I can taste the lemon now. I don't know what that smell is at first, though. It has a little cow on this it. This right here, guys, is a little cheese snack. <laughs> it's great for your favorite romantic anime. So. Oh, we got to do that. Let's, Lady, let's and Lady, Lady and the Tramp it. Oh. It just tastes like cheese. Yeah. No. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like the cheese that you that's get in with the handy slim snacks. jams. No, with handy snacks. Oh. Or like that too. Like no, the cheese. When you buy that, the, yeah. the slim jam and, and the, the cheese. cheese. Yeah. This is like a little taste a little thing thing. here. I think it's chocolate. Oh, is that last one choking you up a tad? They look like M and M's. <laughs> There's only two. Yeah. That's worrisome. <laughs> All right, they look like little uh, M and M's yeah. guys without an M on it. Tastes like an M&M. Tastes like an M&M. <laughs> There's this, and I have a feeling it's something squid. These are Chibi Maru Choco. They're, you know, like a uh, M&M. What's this? I'm going to see the package. It has a little squid on it. I side showed them. Oh! Oh! That Ooh. was full on sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> you swallowed. I spit. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I wasn't. You set that up too good. Guys, that was squid cracker. Oh. Do you want this or me? What? This one I just dropped. Because there's only one piece in here. You eat it. And it's called Lucky Cat Candy. 
Bring a little snack magic to your anime snack test. This candy changes color as you enjoy it. The color reflects your fortune. Red is lucky, yellow is normal, and green as well, you know. Let's see your fortune, Adam. I am going to do this twist rolly thingy. Uncle Perry cream roll cake. Do you watch anime with your family? You'll want to catch your favorite show with Uncle Perry and this fluffy buttercream filled cake. I can't really eat it because I'm doing this. Mm. No, do you for it? Not bad. Mm, it kind of tastes like a Fig Newton. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. With cream in the middle. Okay. Without the seeds. <laughs> But that breading on the outside, that's what reminds me. I am now going to go with that little tiny cookie. Melon pan. Crunchy and bite-sized melon pan cookie is what you need to break the tension during a climactic anime scene. Snack it out with it during your favorite battle. This tastes really good. A weird taste in butter cookie. It almost tastes like it has a strawberry tint to it, hint to it. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is just looks like this right here, guys. Need Aren't a sour bubbles? boost. This is a sour Coke gummy. There's always one of these mochi. things. Mochi. I love mochi. Oh, is that what this is? Uh -huh. Mochi. I know it is. Mm. It's delicious. Oh gosh. I don't like those rubbery looking things. Let's try a little bit of it. You have to try everything, so just try a little bit of it. Alright, delicious. We were oh, at that? A, just a Coke gummy. Oh, that does not taste like Coke, and mm. I like Coke. Oh look! Mm. They come in little trays with a knife. Yellow is normal, so I'm normal. You're normal. Normal. Yay! Here's the inside of that, and then it came with a little sticky. A little sticky in it. I don't know. Is that what it's for? Mm -hmm. mm. I love mochi. I don't like squishy things. Mm. <laughs> I like mochi. So that was pretty tasty stuff. You want to show them the stuff? Yo, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I did open it. Here is the style of Kit Kat. What kind of Kit Kat are we eating, Adam? These right here are a special edition. Ooh, they got flamingos on them. Maple syrup Kit Kats. Really? Yeah. So, of course, you know, you put a turtle. I, yeah. Well, that looks like a turtle. Oh, it says maple right there on the on the uh, maple, maple leaf. leaf from Canada. Ooh. Ooh. You smell you can it? smell that thing. Mmm, guys, it smells like an Eggo waffle. So what's on the outside, if it, or is the outside maple? No, yeah, it's yeah, it's like white chocolate. So it's probably flavored like maple. <laughs> tastes like an Eggo waffle. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes just like an Eggo. Straight up like, like an Eggo waffle. Guys, 100%. If you make Eggo waffles, put butter put, on them and put some, some syrup. syrup. That's what that tastes That's like. That's what that tastes like. They're like Eggo waffle. Not bad. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It tastes like Eggo. I like Eggos. Mm. Tastes like an Eggo waffle. Mm. Very, very good. interesting. Very good. Now, as I saved it, it's a fruity candy. It's this colorful snack with it's like a fruit texture. It's whatever fruit that is, probably. Mm. To see there's a fruit on it. No, it looked kind of like a mint to me. So I was like, well, maybe we'll have that last since it's a mint. <laughs> It'll clean our palate. <laughs> from this whole situation. It don't smell like mints. <laughs> it doing? Yeah, really soft when I put it in my mouth. Ooh, it dissolved real, like quick. Cantaloupe. Tastes like yeah. cantaloupe. Yeah. I mean, Well, no, it melon. tastes like melon. Well, yeah. Not cantaloupe, it tastes like melon. Melon has a different. So, like it's honeydew? Melon. Yeah. Yeah, melon or honeydew. Honeydew? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I wouldn't eat another one. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Yay, I liked a few. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our little treat. 
Thank you, Tokyo Tree. Yes. We appreciate the box. And uh, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, live, right here. Where? Right here on Beard of Pop, right? Yes. We have our Adam and Carrie live. I've packed up some soda mystery boxes. We've got some special surprise giveaways. Somehow you got some powder from one of them. From the face. candy right there on my face, so yeah. Sorry. I'm a mess. Yes. Can't help it. Check the front of your shirt. Yeah, make sure. <laughs> so we got some great giveaways tonight, guys. I got some bonus stuff. We've got some great mystery boxes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. As always. As always. So 8 p.m. Eastern right here on Beard of Pop. So, guys, you know last week, unfortunately... You lost. I took the L. Yes. So, I got to dress up this week. I think I'm three, four, I don't know. Squirrel will come up above us. Yeah. I'm dressing up for a guy who's been a great supporter of the channel. Yeah. A great dude. And a patron. And, like, for three or four months straight... Oh, no. He has been asking for <laughs> this costume for over a year. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, he's been asking for this costume for over a year, almost on every video, like a religion. Yes, it so, is time. To finally give it to you, Rob. Yes. Rob will know, Mr. Toronto Collector, what I am talking about. So, guys, give us a second. I'm going to go change. Ta-da! Hey, guys, I am Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, as you can see from the t-shirt. Yes. There you go, Rob. I dressed up as Billy Gibbons. There's really Give me a no longer stick. beard. There's nearly no stick to Billy Gibbons, dudes. No. He's just chill dude. He's just... Chill dude. He I rocks mean, out of the house. Yeah. So for Rob, Toronto collector brother, one of my patrons, great Bam. supporter from Canada, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, brother. Yeah, your hat. I like your hat, though. So we got these boxes. Yes. Don't touch them. No. Well, what I was going to say was since you lost last week... I'll let you pick. Do you want box A or do you want box B? Well, the obvious choice would be box A. But I think I'm going with box B. Oh, so you're trying to run my strategies and taking my box that was in front of me. <laughs> so guys, we? we got these boxes from none other than Martin Pops. And I got box A. And I got box B. So $50 each, $100 box. Two boxes were 100 bucks shift. Um, I'm going to definitely link them down below. Fire mystery boxes if he has Yes. One. And um, I guess I lost. So I'm gonna you, to go yes, first. you lost, so you have to go first. So I'm going to have to go first. So let me go ahead and uh, let's see. Cut this guy open. There we go. All right. We don't need to open open here yet. Which paper? All right. Looks like all of mine are in pop protector. Oh. You should know. You just look at these. I didn't look at it. I actually <laughs> looked it up. My first poll is, boom, Rick with funnel hat, Target exclusive. Yeah, I think all mine are in protection. That's a so. sweet one. That's very cool. I haven't had a chance to pick this one up yet, so that's a great one to grab. Oh, is that one out of the newer? Yeah, it's oh, the okay. Target exclusive Rick with funnel hat. Oh, nice. That's sweet. Great first pull. My first pull is, ooh, the Flocked Bullseye ooh. Target Exclusive. That's a sweet one. Yeah. Ooh, oh, he's so Red cute. collar. Awesome. Bam. Very and he's cool. fuzzy. Very cool. All right, my next one, guys, is boom. Ooh. Mr. Owl! Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take? To get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop! Add Icon, Funko Shop exclusive. Very sweet pull. Very sweet. L literally and figuratively. Yes. My next pop is... I've got to pull this one because when I went to look to make sure I was grabbing something. This box was perfect for me. <laughs> okay. You ready? Right, let's see what you got. My second pull is Tinky Winky from Teletubbies. We can add him to the yellow one. We have Lala. Yes. And now Lala we have Tinky, Tinky Winky, Winky. And this is the Funko Shop Limited Edition. Boom. Bam. There you Sweet. go. Sweet. Ha <laughs> It's Tinky Winky. All right, guys. My third pop out of here is... 
Boom! Oh, it's Charlie Bucket from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He that found the golden ticket. One. That is sweet. Him with the golden ticket? No, nice. That is an amazing pop. Amazing pop. Great pull. That's an older one. That's 2016, so that's like four years old. Oh, sweet. Boom! That one's a pretty cool one. I love Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. My third pull is... Ricky from I Love Lucy. Ooh. I kind of want Lucy. Very cool, Pop. Nice. That's He's got his banjo. Bongo. Or bongo. Bongo. Bongo, bongo drums. Bongo drums. Yes. Yeah, sweet. Aw, pretty cool. All right, y'all. It's time to get a little serious about the last one here. My last pull from my box is... Boom! Groot, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's a, like Teenage Groot, Glow in the, the dark. dark. Loot Crate exclusive. I don't think I've ever seen that one. And you know how much I love Groot. And that one's fire. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! My last pop is... Bam! Energizer Bunny. Energizer Bunny flocked, and it is the Funko Shop exclusive. Boom! 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 He's so fuzzy. I got two flocked pops. Very nice. Pretty exciting. This is amazing, guys. Yes. So, guys, give us a minute. We'll go tally these up, and we'll be right back with your winner. Well, hey guys, welcome back. We have our totals. I took the beard off. It was super itchy. Oh, he was, super yeah. Itchy. But the hat and the glasses aren't too Why bad. not? I, I like the hat on you. <laughs> so guys, my first pull was Target exclusive Rick with funnel hat. 20 bucks. Nice. I believe my first pull was Bull... Bullseye Target Dog. Bullseye. And he is worth $36. Nice. My second poll was Mr. Owl Tootsie Roll, $30. Nice. Next, I had pulled Tinky Winky. Ooh, Tinky. And Tinky Winky actually surprised me. I don't know how much I thought he was going to be worth. Not very much. He's worth $34. Yes, yeah, they're about worth it up. Yeah, no, I just... Didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected. And I don't remember exactly, but I pulled Groot, Glow in the Dark, Luke That was Crate your last one. <laughs> and uh, he is worth $17. I got more track of yours this time than you did. <laughs> Next, I pulled Ricky. And Ricky is worth $29. Nice. I pulled Charlie Bucket, second to last. And he is worth $26, which gives me a total of... 93 bucks, so beat that. My last pop was the flocked Energizer Bunny. And he was worth $15. That gives me a total of $114. So, guys, you lose around. again. You lose again. You lose again. <laughs> so, guys, let me know down in the comments what you're thinking about for me to dress up as next week. Yes, give him I'll another idea. I'll take some idea. stuff into consideration. Um, I'll also be looking back at past comments, and uh, we'll figure something out. I lost again. I'm yes. I two in a row. I was on a win streak. Yes. Ugh. I know. But, you know, the good news is Martin Pops, $100 boxes, $207. $207 back. They're fire all the time, wow. guys. Check them out down below. I'm going to link him up. Go follow him on IG. He's got some boxes going on right now. You can't go wrong. Oh, does he have some right, right now? now? You can't go wrong. Nice. So, guys, want to make sure to remind you tonight, live, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on Beer to Pop. Adam and Carrie live. We're going to have an awesome time. We got some great giveaways. We also have bonus giveaways for our patrons and our and channel our members. members. So check down below. Go sign up. Get exclusive lives. There's some good stuff in there for channel members and patrons. Some exclusive stickers. Guys, want to thank you. Hopefully, if you're new here, some of these antics, you've decided to click the subscribe button, <laughs> turn all post notifications on, and if you like this content... Smash Luke the like button. 
But guys, until tonight, Adam and Carrie out. out.